All right, guys, 2006 Honda Accord. We have this up in the air. We're gonna do oil change on this car. To do oil change, we're gonna come down here. This is the oil pan right here. That's the number 17 millimeter bolt there. We're gonna drain the oil through that bolt. And uh, we're gonna put a bucket down here. We're gonna put the, take off the drainer and let the oil drain into the bucket. And uh, just to show you up on the top back there is the oil filter. And we're gonna also change that. So we're gonna start with this. Does that have room? All right, so we're gonna loosen up that number 17. Make sure you have a drain bucket to catch the oil into and it's probably hot oil so be careful you don't burn your hands. So what we do is we take out the drain plug. There you go. So we let this oil drain for good five, seven minutes. All the oil should come down and we're gonna give it a good five, six minutes, maybe longer. And we're gonna let this oil drain and we're gonna come right back once we have all the oil drained out. So we'll be right back. After good five to six minutes, this oil drains out. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the drainer back on Check the drain plug, make sure that seal is on, the little o-ring, the washer. This one never came off, so we just left it on. Wipe down that little bit of extra oil. And and then you tighten up the bolt, nice and tight. Next, we're gonna go up there See that white thing right there? That's the oil filter right here. You don't want to burn your hand. The exhaust right here is very hot. So what we're gonna do is, he's gonna reach in there from the back there. And the filter's probably tight. You could turn the tire to the side a little bit and you get a good angle from the other side. The filter is nice and tight. Usually they're hand tight, but over time they become super tight, which is normal. That's why you only hand tighten it. Use the strap. The strap will work better. You hear me? The strap. So we're gonna try a different filter wrench, because that one is, all it's doing is squeezing that filter. Make sure you have good filter wrenches. The other way. Flip it. Flip it. You're, you have to flip it. Then that's how it's going to grip it. Is it or did I have a rope? The same wrench because the strap filter wrench didn't work. You have to pull towards you. That filter is super tight. So let's get this filter loose and then we'll show you how to remove it. Probably gotta put the camera away and put my hands in there also. All right, so he got it loose before I even put my gloves on. That filter was just super tight. So you wanna be careful with this one because all the oil is gonna come onto this, the frame. And uh, there you go, you just let it drip just like that. The filter got a hole in it, right? The filter has a hole in it? Yeah. Yeah, the filter, we squeeze it so hard to open it. Filter got a hole in it. So if you ever come across that filter doesn't want to open up, don't leave it in there just because you can't get it out and you squeeze it, because it will leak. So, that's it, we almost have it. So once you take that filter out, a lot of oil is gonna come out. So usually what I do is I tip it a little bit, and uh, that's how I get it out of there. Mm -hmm. 
hot, so he's trying to be careful a little bit. Do a couple of turns at a time. And more oil is going to come out of there. Once it loosens up, it's almost out of there. There you go. And you put the filter in there. Now you let it drip a little bit. It takes a few seconds. And then you grab the new filter. And you put the new filter in there. Whenever you're done, make sure you wipe all the excessive oil off. Some of these Hondas are known to go on fire, especially the Honda Odyssey and the Pilot, because the oil gets into that little K frame, this underneath frame of the engine, and uh, it heats up from the exhaust and the car goes on fire. So now he's putting that new filter in there, and he's gonna tighten that filter up nice and tight. By hand tight, you don't wanna do it with a wrench. You don't need to. So you just hand tighten that. And after that, you wipe off the oil and you're done. We can bring the car down. And we'll put the oil from the top. And we'll show you where to put the oil. This customer always brings his own oil. He puts uh, synthetic oil in there always. That's, that's tight, that looks tight. So now we wipe this down a little bit here on both sides. And then we're gonna bring this car down and we're done. To the hood, customer brings his oil. Turn it. He brings mobile one, he brings his own oil all the time. He wants 1030 because the car has a lot of mileages now. But this car requires, what number is on there? 020? The cap will tell you 520. So this is where you put the oil in this car for four cylinder. This car takes four and a half, but this car burns oil. So this customer wants this whole little bottle. That's about five quarts. He's gonna put the whole thing in there. While we at it, we always check the coolant. We check the brake fluid over there. The washer fluid is full. We'll check his power steering and we'll check his transmission, which already flushed a few months back. So this is almost a little bit more than four and a half. There's a half quart extra in there, five quarts. And we're gonna put all five quarts in there. That's it. After that, make sure you put the cap on. And uh, we're not gonna check the oil on this car if it's because we're already putting a little bit of extra oil. Customer requested to put the whole thing in there. And now I'm gonna show you how to reset the oil light on this car. And also I'll make a separate video on uh, uh, how to reset the oil light on this car. And after he's done, we'll put out the funnel and we'll tighten up the cap just hand tight and that's how you do all chain on a 2006 Honda Accord if you have a 7 model it's the same way and also the earlier model 2, 3 and 4 I mean 3, 4 and 5 he set the light on this car like this one has 15% what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the key and this car is gonna beep like that several times once it finishes beeping we're gonna hold on to this button and we're gonna hold it down and that 15% will start blinking. When it starts blinking, I'm gonna let go of this odometer button and then I'm gonna push it back down and hold it till it goes to 100. So I'm gonna let go and hold it back down. And it should go up to 100 now. There you go. And it just fades away and after that you can check it by pressing this several times. So this, this is how you reset the light on a 2006 Honda Accord.